Here's an almost complete Lewis structure for ozone, or O3, but there's no octet on the central atom. So what do we do? The answer is both. Well, neither. Well, actually, it's pretty complicated. Let's investigate. If we move this lone pair to make a bond, we get this Lewis structure. Let's assign formal charges. What is the formal charge of this oxygen? This oxygen has a formal charge of zero since there are six electrons in a neutral oxygen and six electrons in our lasso. So what about the formal charge for this oxygen? There are seven electrons in this lasso, so the formal charge of this oxygen is minus one. Lastly, what about the formal charge for the central oxygen? There are only five electrons in this lasso, so this oxygen has a formal charge of plus one. That's a lot of formal charges, so let's double check our work. Does each oxygen in this molecule have a full octet? Even though we have assigned formal charges to some of the atoms in this molecule, each atom has a full octet. If we look at the overall charge of the molecule, it is zero. So that's it. This is a correct Lewis structure for ozone. But what would have happened if we had moved the lone pair on the right-hand side of the molecule instead? We get this molecule. This is also a correct Lewis structure for ozone. So which one is it? The answer is that it's both and neither. The actual ozone molecule's electron cloud doesn't look like either of these molecules, but it kind of looks like the average of the two. So we draw a double-headed arrow between these two different Lewis structures to show that these are two forms representing the same molecule. These are two resonance forms for the ozone molecule. It's important to note, however, that the actual ozone molecule has a single nature with a single structure, and neither of these two forms ever exists at any point in time. In other words, it's not going back and forth between the two forms. The ozone molecule really is something that looks like the average of the two at all times. So if we wanted to know the actual formal charge on the leftmost oxygen, it would be negative one half. Why? That's right. The complex nature of ozone means that at all times there is extra electron density in that part of the molecule. One half of an electron's worth of extra density, to be specific. How is it possible, you ask? Well, just remember, electrons aren't dots, lines, or giraffes. Electrons are waves, and waves can be spread out. 